Hello internet friends, I'm going to talk through how to set up a ship to auto mine in X4 Foundations. I found that the basic level auto mining works a lot more reliably than the basic auto trading option. There are advanced options of each, but the basic level of auto trading kind of is dependent on the goods in one system. It seems to stop working all the time. So until you can get those advanced options, something that works reliably within one system is very useful and auto mining does that and generates income. So I'll talk through how to do it. The first step is to find a shipyard that is going to sell the type of ship we want. I know that the Argon Wharf does. I want a medium mining ship and this station will sell that we also need to know where we want it to mine so if you don't know the legend bring up the legend and you can see mineral regions gas regions will be in blue and mineral and gas regions will be in purple so these colored hex basically uh, i already already have a resource probe up here and if we have a look, we can see that the ore and silicon in this region is not very good. I already have a miner mining minerals elsewhere. So in this case, I want to do a gas mine. I want to find a gas region. I think I've located one. So now it's just a case of telling the station what we want it to build. I will show you the various right. options. Hello. Thank you, Sandy. Have a sit down. Uh, we're going to buy ships. Click. And let's go for medium ships and mining ships. We have the choice of mineral and gas. As I said, if you're going mineral, then the only difference between mineral and gas is that the mineral ones do need mining lasers. And you would go here. So for the front mining laser, you could choose the mining drill mark two or the mining drill mark one. You could also have mining drills on the turrets. Mining Mark 1 you can have in the turrets if you really want it to get its job done quickly. But well, we're going to go for Gas Miner, which doesn't need lasers or turrets to do its job. Mineral and Gas Mining ships have different storage capabilities. Solid storage for mineral and liquid storage for gas. You can't swap, they're not multi-purpose ships, so make sure you're buying the right thing for what you want to mine. Let's go for the all-round engine Mark 2, so he's got a bit of maneuverability but can also move. Uh, reasonably fast all round mark two thrusters shields level two just in case he gets attacked we're in safe regions at the minute so it doesn't really matter too much but you know let's put him some flak batteries on just in case we might use this ship in the future to go to some less safe systems uh doggy computer it needs at least one i think do we need one maybe it's not Maybe you can get away without it with an AI ship. I'm not going to be flying it, so. But we do need long range scanners. We need a basic scanner as well. Those are all mandatory. Yeah, the docking computer, if you're not going to be flying it, the, the AI is fine without it, I think. I should have bought a targeting computer here so that the turrets can find their mark. Don't forget that yourselves. Consumables is important because we need to s drop resource probes in the region that we're heading to. So I want to buy a number of these. I think 20 will be enough in case we go to another region right now. I'm not super flush with cash. So resource probes 20. Let's get some crew. We need a captain is mandatory. Oh, we don't need a lot of crew. You look, you can have one, three service crew and one Marine to look, glare at them in the canteen, make sure they're doing their jobs. We add to shopping list, gas Sundra and confirm purchase. And we should be able to see it being constructed here. I think it'll be down in the bottom bay because it's a big ship. You can see it emerging out of the graphical rendering engine of the game. <laughs> Okay, there we go, and the Sunday is done, but we don't even need to get on board that ship. We're probably never going to set foot on board or meet the captain or anything like that. Let's give it orders. I'm going back to my ship here because if you have the default settings on, then the game can sometimes, sometimes get confused. The AI doesn't Hello. want to leave in case it strands you on the station. So I'm just going to sit down while I do this. And then we're going to give the Sunder orders from the map. We don't need to do... Uh, we're going to be looking at little blips from now on. So we can see it right there. Make sure it's selected. Its current orders are hold position. And we are going to go to the region we have in mind, which is this one right here, as you can see, purple hexagons. So that means it's a mineral and gas region. And I know that there's hydrogen in this region, which is what I want it to be uh, collecting. So with the Sunder selected, right click in space, and then I'm just going to tell it to fly there and wait for now. 
and then we'll start putting gas probes in that region. If you double click and make sure you are following it, we'll be able to follow it on its route. And you can see its orders undocking at the moment. All right, so we've arrived and we need the ship to know what's in the region. And that's where our resource probes come into play. So again, with the ship selected, right click, go down to deployables and deploy at position resource probe. All right, it's going to deploy a resource probe there. Uh, the, re the scan radius is about that. So we're going to space them out a little bit. Deploy another one there, please. Whoops. Another one here. There in a basic hexagon. Is it a hexagon? Five, five sides? I can never remember. All right, let's put one there. Might as well use what we brought. It's not quite a hexagon. It's a hexagon with a little bulge at the end. All right, and then we're going to go into the middle. Just overlap it. All those resource probes. So once he's gone round and dropped all those, we'll have a much better idea of what's in the region, and so will he. He'll have information to base his mining on. All right, so we've got a system of resource probes letting us know what all the various minerals are like. So you can see hydrogen is pretty plentiful. Three stars there, three stars there. This is a hydrogen system. So I don't think we'll make a huge amount of money with hydrogen, but we it, it's, it's one more automated miner than we had otherwise, and it will be making money while we're doing other things. So let's look at his orders. Property owned. Sunder Miner. Let's go right click on the Sunder Miner and go to Information. And we're going to tell him through the Behaviour tab, tab up at the top here. This is the thing that's kind of buried away for some reason. Default Behaviour. Local Auto Mine. All right, that's what we're going to tell him to do. Then we need to tell him what to mine. Hydrogen in this system. He'll stick to this system in Silent Witness and Silent Witness 1. Yes, please. And then confirm. And he should start doing that. It will say here free mining. So he should be drawing in all the information he's getting from these various resource probes to decide what he's going to mine, where the best concentrations are. What about that one? How much is there? Sometimes it doesn't appear for some reason when I when I click. Why does that? Maybe. Ah, right. It's outside the region. So I could come and pick up that resource probe. I'm not going to tell him to do anything else. Now he's started his mission in life. But yeah. And uh, when he's mining, this little thing pops up here. And you see that he's mining a resource in that region. It's pretty straightforward. You just need the money at the start to buy the ship. Get your captain. You don't even need the service crew and stuff. And you can buy more basic components than I'm using. You'll be able to check in his storage how much he's got. And once it gets to a certain level, he's nearly at the max. He'll sell that in the region. I believe it is at the refined goods complex. Yeah, so there you go. He's got a full inventory and now he's heading to the refined goods complex. So he's going to execute that order. I think we can see it if we go into his... Uh, information, Sunder, information, dock. Yeah, execute trade, dock and, dock and wait, and then execute trade. So that will all happen automatically. We'll see how much cash we get for that cargo hold full of hydrogen. Sunder gas trader. Oh, he didn't get us very much at all. 15968. But it's free money at this early stage of the game. And if you find higher yields and better minerals, you can up that definitely. For instance, my drill mineral Vanguard is currently mining Invidium and he gets like quarter of a million for each of that. So, all right, thank you for watching. I hope the guide helped you and uh, good luck with your space empire building. See you next time. Bye.